Let's talk about how to add custom fields in Jira product discovery. Unlike adding a custom field in Jira software that requires a lot of work, adding a custom field in Jira product discovery is very, very easy. And I'm going to show you how to do it in this video. If you haven't already, please consider subscribing to the channel. Drop a like if you get value out of this video. And don't forget to check out the links down below as I have links to my merch store, my paid sponsors, and most importantly, to my personal courses that you can take to take your skills to the next level. All right, let's jump into Jira Part of Discovery and talk about custom fields. Don't wanna sleep in, cause I got something to prove. I gotta take what I hate and finally make a move. This video is sponsored by Release. Inside of the wonderful world of Jira Product Discovery, it works very, very much different than your traditional Jira software. If you have ever wanted to customize your UI with whatever custom fields you want in Jira, but then are met with a series of restrictions because you have to be an admin, well, those restrictions don't exist in Jira Product Discovery. So all you need to do to create a field is go to your All Ideas view. Now this may work in other areas, but for sure it's gonna work here. And what you're looking for is this plus sign all the way over here on the far right corner. When you click on this plus sign here, this is going to give you a list of all the different types of fields that you can create. You can go very creative here and pick what makes sense for you. And notice that these field types are very, very different than the ones that you would find inside of Jira software. Because remember, Jira Part of Discovery is here to nurture an idea. It is here to help you figure out if this idea worth pursuing. And if it's not, we don't wanna waste calories and resources and money and schedule on an idea that's just not gonna work out. But if the idea does work out, then we're definitely gonna to wanna to invest all of our resources into that idea. But how do we know? Well, we try to make that idea be less subjective and much more objective. And we're gonna be able to accomplish that by adding these custom fields. So we're not gonna be able to go through all of them because there's just so many of them. But let me just show you a couple of examples of what is possible so you can be thinking about, hmm, what can I do in Jira Product Discovery? So let's start off the top. We're gonna to start off with bucket. And so you can click on that. You can see that you can click on a bucket. And once you add that in, you're able to essentially click on these three dots and then you can edit the field. Now this bucket field is again an out of the box thing. And all you need to do is come down here for your options, right? Because since this is a field that's already just existing, you can and have the option to manipulate the options down here. So these are the options that it ships with, your customer request, metric mover, delighter, or you can click on add option, and then you can basically create a new option. Now what makes Jira Product Discovery a little bit more unique than Jira software is the fact that when you add a new value here, and again, forgive me for not being so creative, but when you add a new value, you can also add emojis. And so there's a lot of emojis for you to pick from. So let's just go with this one. And you can also add your color. So you don't have to do these very bland looking options like in the past. Now, you can also come down here to add option and basically just keep go looping through and adding more values. So you have the option to do that. Uh, you also have the option to enable to highlight rows and cards with the selected color. So you can turn that on or off depending on if you want that or not. And then the final thing that you can do here that I'm gonna talk about is you can add weight. And again, this is very, very different than what you are used to seeing in Jira software because in Jira software, a field is just a field that contains data. But in Jira Product Discovery, we're making strategic decisions with the field data. So some values, some options may have more importance, if you will, than others. And so you can actually do that. We can come into add weighting here, and then you can put either a rating or a number. So I'm just gonna put a number for now. And you can say that if this one is selected, this one's gonna be worth five points. If the metric mover is selected, it's gonna be worth 10 points. If a delighter is selected, it's just a one. And then the, my new value is gonna be 50 points. And so once you do that, then you're essentially able to click on done here and then click on the X. And now your field is weighted and has the values that you want. So all you gotta do is click into it and you'll see your options here. You can click on that and then the value of the weight is presented. So that's just one type of custom field. 
But as you can see, it's very, very easy to add custom fields. So let's just explore a couple more because otherwise this video is gonna be ridiculously long. And so let's talk about some of the other ones that are pretty cool that are very important for you to add. I wanna take a quick second to tell you about today's sponsor. I recently discovered Released, a Jira app that generates stunning release notes straight from your Jira tickets. What used to take me hours takes minutes with Released. It's so easy to use. Just drag and drop your issues into the editor to craft your release notes. Then, Publish your announcements with a single click to your website, in-app widget, or Confluence for internal collaboration. Make sure you click on the link in the description down below to start your free trial. All right, so if we go back in here, we can do a user person, so we can do creator, and so this one's gonna bring in the person that created. We can come over here and click on delivery progress. This is gonna be connected with the epics and stories and so on and so forth that we add and link into Jira, so make sure you check out my video on how to create a delivery issue so that you can track and see how this works. You can also then click on a very similar note, delivery status. So you can kind of see based on those connections, based on those epics and stories, how are these things trending for you? We can also then come over here and do checklists, right? Are things ready? We have designs ready. We can make it a checklist. And so you can think about adding a series of checklists. Do I have this? Do I have that? Do I have this other thing? If all these criteria are met, then we can proceed. But if they're not, then we hold off on this idea until everything's checked. Now, this is a pretty cool field here to have. Again, a checklist type of thing. You can come to edit field. You can add emojis as well and add a description. Not a whole lot you can do on some of these, but some of these other ones are pretty cool. We can continue down our path here. And as you can see, we can add impact scores, we can add goal impacts, right? So again, these are custom fields. Now, they're gonna be custom fields that are not present usually out of the box immediately, but they are already available in your Jira product discovery. They're just available there so you can bring them in and use them. But let's assume that you wanna take your custom fields to the next level. Let's assume that you wanna make something that doesn't exist. Well, in that case, you're still gonna click on this plus add field, but now this time we're gonna click on this create a new field. And when we do this, this is gonna open us up to a different type of UI. So here we're gonna create a new field. So I'm just gonna call it YouTube value. How much do I think this idea is gonna be worth with respect to YouTube? And then we can see our field type. So when I click on this, notice that we have very similar icons to what we were just looking at, but now these are just blank generic items, right? So we can do a checkbox type, we can do a date, we can do a hyperlink, a multi-select dropdown, a number field, we can tag people, we can do those ratings where people can you know, score something and put one through five. Uh, we can do reactions. So if you wanna be very, very modern and be able to articulate important business decisions with emojis, this have options available to you as well. I wouldn't recommend it, but maybe I'm a little bit more old school. You have the option to do a single select dropdown, short text, sliders, which I actually like quite a bit. Then we have custom formulas and votes. So if you wanna give your people the option to be able to vote on an idea, well then you can give everybody a voice and let everybody kind of come in here and vote if they like something or not. And the thing that has the most votes gets mixed into the idea. But again, in the interest of this video and not making it super, super long, let's just go in and do a select. When you click on select, you will now have your custom field with the type select, but we still need to go and populate the option. So make sure you click on the create button there and then wait for it to be generated. It is now generated. And now we can go back in and just like the other ones, we can add emojis. So if you wanted to do a little halo emoji, you can add a description of what this field is for. This is to determine how important YouTube video is. So now we can add our options. So very similar to the last one that I did, you just do option one and then pick your color. And then you can add more options down here and add your color, All right? So it's just an infinite loop of however many options you wanna add, you can add color, which I really, really like. Click on them when you're done. And also just here, you do have the ability to add emojis to your options as well. So you can add emojis everywhere. Uh, to make, again, your Jira a little bit more personalized, a little bit more special to you and your team. Of course, don't forget you can add weights. So we had the numbers from last time. You can also add a rating. So you can just do it like this. This one's worth two out of five. This one's worth three out of five. You can keep going on and then click on done. And that's pretty much it. When you hit the little X, that field is now available in your view. And then you can click on it and then your team can pick it. And yeah, that's pretty much how that's going to work. So I recommend you experiment and try out the different types of custom fields. As you can see, it's super, super easy. Anybody can do it, which 
comes with a warning. Just because you can do it here doesn't mean you should do it. So I want you to exercise caution. I want you to exercise discipline and just be careful because it is possible for you to get carried away with the simple fact that anybody can create custom fields. So you're going to have a custom field for everything. So be very, very careful because when you try to solve all the problems, you solve none of the problems. So be very diligent and be very prescriptive with which custom fields actually make it into your Jira product discovery project. Because if you try to bow the ocean and you try to bring on too many custom fields, it's just going to create confusion and chaos, and it's going to slow things down. You don't want to do that. You want to be as nimble and as agile as possible. Pick fields that are actually going to deliver value and help you understand these ideas. Most importantly, help you measure these ideas to see if they're actually valid. So don't just add fields to add fields, because this is one of the reasons why I love Jira software, that the fields are paywalled, if you will. They're behind a Jira admin because only the Jira admin can, can do the fields. And thus, you're blessed with having the insight of the Jira admin to guide you through that journey. But here, you don't have that. You can just do whatever you want. So be very, very cautious because I guarantee you that if you get a little excited and you get carried away, you are going to hinder the process rather than helping the process. So that's my little word of caution do with that what you will. I want to take a quick second to tell you about today's sponsor. I recently discovered Released, a Jira app that generates stunning release notes straight from your Jira tickets. What used to take me hours takes minutes with Released. It's so easy to use. Just drag and drop your issues into the editor to craft your release notes. Then publish your announcements with a single click to your website, in-app widget, or Confluence for internal collaboration. Make sure you click on the link in the description down below to start your free trial. But that's it for this video. If you enjoyed it, please consider subscribing to the channel, especially if you made it this far and you haven't subscribed. Also, don't forget to drop a like if you get value out of the video. Share it with your coworkers, with your friends, your colleagues, teammates, bosses, whoever else you have in your network. Share these videos with everybody you know. And finally, don't forget to check out those links down below in that description as they do contain links that will enable you to help support the channel. So if you want to do the merge, if you want to do the paid courses, or if you want to try out the apps from the sponsors of these videos, make sure you check them out. Go show them some love. That's it for this video, and I'll see you in the next one. So